Okay. Uh, yeah, that's probably a keeper. Um, yeah. They spell pierce it. And I'm like, what is my opponent on? I figure maybe that they're on Merc Tide, you know. But they had a wooded foothills. And then I see this. And I'm like, Hinterland Harbor. So that makes me think, uh, uh, what's that called? Mm, Teamer Control. But it has been a long time since I've seen Teamer Control. So I'm kind of happy that they're playing the counters on the mill rocks and instead of the bridge. But uh, I end up learning why here shortly. So Huntmaster of the Fells, hasn't seen this card in years, um, but it does get around bridge, so I have to be very, very careful in how I play here. So I'm going to make a blocker. And, uh, yeah. Uh, so I get the Shredder, because they've already lost two Shredders. So I'm running low on Mill Rocks. So the opponent's going to deal two to it. And really, I probably didn't need to block. Oh wait, no, they're gonna, are they gonna bolt it? I don't remember. Oh, heat it. They're gonna heat it. Yeah, that's what it was. Okay. And then they played two spells, so they're gonna flip the help master again. Play another bridge because I'm figuring that they have decay or something like that. It's a, a good six damage. So we're trying to make another blocker. And I think I get a cookbook. No, a lantern. Okay. Gotta resize. There we go. Okay, so I'm kind of hoping that I might be able to trophy this Huntmaster, uh, but I have to worry about this counter spell. So I do it during their upkeep before they draw it. Reasoning why is I figured they, if they have a counter, they'll counter it. I, it sucks either way. But if they have a, uh, a draw spell that they want to use to draw at instant speed, then in response to the trophy, they'll try to use that to draw the counter spell to counter the trophy. And then I'll, that gives me an opportunity to mill in response. And they did not have a counter, so. Yeah, milling myself, because uh, because of this lighthouse, I know that my lock is kind of tenuous. Uh, I am happy about the Pithy Needle, though. Uh, I do let them have the, uh, the opt. So I don't want them to have the Huntmaster, though. So. Let them get the other opt. They're going to bolt me. And I'm pretty sure they have another bolt too. No. I don't remember if they got the counter. So. They did not. Okay. Yeah. So name the, uh, the lighthouse. And then I should be good. That's it. That should be lock. 
Um, I do not want to draw the thought seizes anymore. So even I'm milling them just to get them out of my deck, even though I'm not going to draw it anyways, because Tutor should make me reshuffle. So I'm pretty sure I, yeah, try to get them there. I think I play the Pixis here first. No, okay, good. Uh, I should be, yeah, the correct play I think is the Stirrings first. Yeah, get a Saga. And then they're going to counter the Pixis, which is correct. Do not want them to have expressive, expressive iteration. Uh, I am worried about Huntmaster as well. But the plan now is to try to use the Saga. Clear their hand. Uh, yeah, okay, cool. Yeah, I mill the Huntmaster. Um, so the Huntmaster, they play it, uh, and then uh, I'll draw this. I would have to discard it to survive because I won't be casting any spells. Um, and I kind of want to be able to use them gardens. So it's better just to mill the Huntmaster, I think. So they get a counter. But now uh, that's going to be a game. Uh, solidify the lock and yeah that's pretty much it uh, burning catacombs uh, can't really use them yeah I think I mill my thoughts these two should yeah needle. Um, now, I don't really have anything to needle, so I name you are already dead. Yeah, because that's going to be game. I can just mill at will now, pretty much. They should counter the shredder. Yep. So I have pixels to get rid of. I think it was a bolt on top. Yeah, they try to shuffle so that I don't mill their uh, nimble obstructionist. Gardens is going to help. Uh, I have Graptiger's Cage, so I don't have to worry about Snapcaster. Uh, so I get Ruins because I want to get some Shredders back. I realize my opponent's going to make me mill them all the way out. But now it's one, two, three, four, and that's going to be five. They have nine cards, so they're going to die in two turns. Well, I mean, now, really. So I'm expecting, uh, so we get to see their whole deck here, uh, and I am expecting um, uh, Ancient Grudge. So I do like the hand because I have the two tutors and I have a bridge. Uh, oh yeah, my opponent and I were having a conversation after the game ended. For some reason it doesn't save that. Uh, yep. Spell up here. 
Lanterns. So uh, I'm okay with them countering my Lantern, uh, but I want the Thought Seas to resolve. Now since my opponent, uh, yeah. Yeah, since they played the tap land, I figured they probably didn't have a counter. Yeah. Uh, profane tutor. Oh, and played the shrine tap, so I don't take damage. Now, I do have a trophy. Uh, so in, what I'm hoping is if they play the Hump Master, I can just trophy it. Uh, Profane Tutor is going to come off. Yeah. Uh, my opponent says whoops here. I don't know what's going on there. I think I get Saga here? I don't remember. No, Lantern. Oh yeah, so they have one mana untapped, six cards in hand. I should be able to Thought Seize and then play the lock. Yeah, nice filters, unfortunately. Uh, but, so what I'm going to do now, I'll pay it, and I won't be able to play the lock this turn but it is going to make it so that they just have to top deck something good, or they got to have a real good hand. Uh, and they have a pretty good one. They have the Fracturing Gust, two ops, Ratchet Bomb, and the Lighthouse. So I grabbed the Fracturing Gust. I just have to worry about the, the Ratchet Bomb. But if they play the Ratchet Bomb, then I can just trophy it. Two cast it. So they have one unknown in hand. Okay. I think maybe is this the saga? Yeah, there we go. Uh, I figure chances are they don't they didn't draw a counter and I want to do this now in case it, they drew a spell pierce so I can pay for the spell pierce. So they're gonna try to opt to save it I assume. No okay. MTGO. <laughs> okay, so play in the Saga, and play the Lock, and basically they just got a real hope, really hope, uh, and let's see, they did scry one to the top with the Opt. The um, hunt master. Yep. See a forest. Hey Ezra, can you take her out, please? Thanks, bud. All right. Uh, 
So what I'm going to have to do here is use the saga to get a um, cookbook to survive. And uh, I am going to let my opponent draw that hunt master. So it is possible that it might have been better for me to uh, like mill myself into casting a spell, but I figured that uh, it's going to be real hard for my opponent to keep trying to like flip these hunt masters. So I'm just going to gain the life instead. I'm going to let them draw that counter spell. Do not want them to have the obstructionist. I will let them have a land, I think. Yeah. So I'll be able to... It's going to be very difficult for them to keep flipping the... Yeah. So I'm going to let them have that bolt because they have to cast two spells this turn, and I'm pretty sure the other card in their hand is a counter spell. Now, unfortunately, this does mean that they're going to be able to flip them now, because I'm going to cast this, they're going to counter, then they're going to bolt me, they're going to... So that's three, then four, five, six, seven, puts me at three to flip it back. So it was probably better just to discard it to the cookbook, but... Yeah. I'm going to gain some life, because they can only deal four at max. So yeah, uh, I do let them draw the Obstructionist. Because they have to draw two spells in a row to make it work. Um, now, unfortunately, I have to mill this. Yeah, so now they can try to counter the mill and draw in response, so I have to exile in response. And that means that they're going to get an uh, expressive iteration and a hunt master. And that means they're going to be able to flip these hunt masters. I think I cast this shredder. Yeah. So that way the help masters can't flip again. Yeah. So now they have to cast no spell. And then they have to cast two spells. Yeah, 
So I'm still staying like just out of reach. So now they're going to cast two. Flip them again. Uh, but now they're at 17 cards left in the library. So I know that I just got to mill them faster than their hunt and then they can keep flipping their hunt masters. They have to cast, uh, let's see, yeah, I, I gain the life, they can deal six. And now they have to cast two spells in one turn. Uh, I'm not going to let them draw spells if I can. instead of spells, so they can't flip their hunt masters again. So this is going to put me out of reach of their burn. I'll be at 8, they can only deal 6. I have 3 mill rocks plus their draw, they're going to die. That's it.